Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, I'm in the Delightful Punisher here. A really nice ship in my opinion, very good cost effective inhibitors, is able to be so effective, can do both T1 Abyss solo and also a really nice anomaly grinding for ISEC, all for the mere cost of just under 10 million isk, an awesome ship. But we're here chilling here and I wanted to give first away a few things to you guys, uh, we got regular giveaways on this channel if you don't know how it works. well. I got often stuff from CCP and I can give it away to you guys the way you participate in the giveaway. Leave a comment, subscribe and say you want to be in the giveaway. Make sure you leave your in-game name and check your contracts. If you don't check your contracts or you don't leave your in-game name, likelihood is either you get the item and you don't accept the contract or you don't get any contract at all because I don't know your in-game name. So, the this is what's going to be given away here. It's just a few Master Arms Cerebral Accelerators but it's just something here. Let's just check who was the winner here. The winner was... Vindalara is the winner here. Okay, let's give the giveaway winner here. Uh, private and contract. Some things that I wanted to do in this uh, video is that we're going to be seeing if we can actually afford to get a purifier for doing some low set close soldier hunting. I think low set close soldier hunting is quite fun and is also quite uh, uh, profitable activity when you actually get around to find those dank clone soldiers. Uh, here we've got some ships that I actually don't find we need at all now. The, just, the Dragoon and this Kestrel especially, we don't need this. So we can actually re repackage this Kestrel. And then we can sell this. We don't need this actually. Sell this. And then the same goes here for... Uh, we can repackage this. And then we can sell this Dragoon here. Now we're going to have some items that we possibly can use. If we just here uh, repackage. There we go. And then we stack these. Great. I able to re repair something. I yeah, repackage some of them. Okay. Not so much we can repackage now. We've got some items that we can also sell. So we'll sell this, this. These shield modules don't need them. Sell these here. So what kind of isk are we sitting on right now? 45 million isk. Okay. And we've got 5 million worth of modules here. So not a whole lot of stuff something but it's not a whole lot of stuff if we can claim this here halcyon yeah that's good to have those and if we go in the purifier we've got cheap clone hunter this is something that i want to get i don't know if we're going to be able to afford this right about now but oh ooh, look at that the price is actually quite expensive yeah very expensive i think it's just in jita that this is uh the estimated price is like 45 million of those is way more expensive than it's actually supposed to be i think it's a lot to do with the whole price being quite expensive what else is increasing the price it's slightly but not so much hmm yeah unfortunate unfortunate this cobox locking device as well that is a big uh, contributor here well we're gonna have to then wait a bit until we can get that in the meantime I wanted to then go out and do some of the uh, anomaly hunting. I think that's quite fun. I like it a lot. Let's see if we can find some of those. And I'm thinking here is if we can do a few of the uh, T1 sites. Let's do a couple of T1 sites so that we can get some little extra isk here. And we can also get the product discovery out to just get some extra, you know, little side isk as well at the same time. It's 56 million isk. That's quite a lot. Compared to 45 like this almost 25% more than the actual estimate is here. So it's just something like that. And then accept it here. Good. Okay. Where have, what should we do in terms of the warping? It's the system of Irnin, exactly, Irnin. There's a, that's a good system to do uh, Abyss Sites in. Because you can't do any of the other ones adjacent to Amar. You need to have a little bit lower security status. Can't be too easy. Can't be too easy. To, to be honest, I think it's a little bit silly. That you're not able to do the uh, base sites in uh, 1.0 and 0 0.9 security states at all. Like I think that they do T1 to T3 is possible. But no, you can't do any. Because it's nice to be able to just warp out directly of the trade hub. And do it straight away. Okay, good. We've got some Blood Raiders over there. Hmm. Warp in there. Alright, now we're here. And we have to also form a fleet with each other. I should have done that a little bit earlier because it takes a bit of time for this session timer thing to expire so that the fleet sort of registers that you're 
done or that you're actually in a fleet if CCP's know that I'm in a fleet so it gets a bit confused needs to spend a bit of time thinking hmm I actually in a fleet let's use this calm filament no uh, no 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 oh. I did not want to uh, I've completely forgot something sorry uh, apologies to you guys here we did something wrong here you know what we did wrong I've got the same fit that I've been using for the DD hunting or the anomaly grinding and that's got no tank basically uh, let's see if we can go back here I think we should be able to go back here and just join the film without having to even bring new filaments because the the gate is open for 20 minutes I think it just is delayed slightly so it's good that we used the frigate sites because if we'd used the cruiser sites those activate you jump into them directly as soon as you deploy them I thought I forgot about that actually big oops from me dock up here well in the meantime we're doing project discovery is no problem you know we get some little ticks here on the side we need to accumulate about 10 million isk shouldn't be too difficult to afford it's quite cool how we're able to do T1 Abyss very quickly with this Punisher because it's so cheap. Usually I'd have something like a Retribution or a Hawk to do T1 Abyss, but the Punisher seems to be able to handle it pretty well. I'm sure a very good fit Kestrel would also be able to do it. I just like that the Punisher fit to me feels very stable in that you are using a ship that is bonusing its capacitor by going the electrical sites. And benefit a lot from the electrical sites as well since we do EM based damage. Okay. Sorry, apologies. Let's see here. Punish uh, T1 high skill cheap. There we go. Good, good. So now we've got the jewel armor repair, as you can see here, with the reactive armor heart and a boss tank. Go into the system of Irinin. Oh, look at that. Fancy, got fancy ships here. I would have really liked to be able to have a canid skin on the. Punisher, but unfortunately you're not really able to get it. I don't know why it exists, but you're not able to get it. Otherwise, I thought it would have been such a cool skin to have, but you can't get it. No, if CCP could donate this to me, I would appreciate it so much. I would uh, take that over the three bull accelerators. <laughs> okay locations warp here but well, this is a very cost effective type of activity to do you're not like putting much on the line and get pretty good rewards so just do a couple of sites and you're going to get the whole ship back so i think it's a pretty good thing to do uh oh yeah there is there's the we need to i forgot we don't want to activate a new one we're going to want to go in the original one i'll just check here we've got tech two armor repairs yeah Activate this. 1.6 million. Nice. Decent tick right there. Okay, damn it, Vic. Easy, easy. Activate that reactive armor hardener and also the armor repairs here. And we'll just get closer. Yeah, I want to group them up a little bit. Aurora could be good to get some initial damage, but I think they're just going to approach us just so quickly that we can just keep a raise 7.5 and it should be alright. Something like this. Now we should be able to get some good damage. Penetrating shots, yes, yes. That's good. And we've got to level up on Project Discovery as well. Nice to see. Dogfight here with the Dambix. And we tank like an absolute boss here, that's great. What is our DPS? 178. Can we return, redeem these Halcyon boosters? We get some extra, slight extra DPS buff, perhaps. Imperial Navy, that's good. I thought we had like 190 DPS, or could I be wrong? I think that was when we used the anomaly grinding fit because it has slightly more DPS than what we've got now. Now oh, we're getting penetrating shots, so that's good. We're getting good application. It's not, not like we're doing anything bad here. And we're tanking so well, so that's amazing. And then keep it range 7.5. The reason I'm not going really close to him is just because uh, if we get too close, our application is not going to be too good because the beams don't have as good laser beam accuracy as the the uh, pulse lasers 
pulse lasers have much better tracking compared to beams. But on the other hand, the pulses have worse uh, range, so they're going to be only able to be effectively used at close range. There's pluses and minuses. Pulses are good at shredding stuff at close range because they do a lot more damage at close range as well. well. Not a lot more, but they do a bit more damage. In some instances, it would be nice to have some pulse lasers since these guys were anyway close to us. It's okay. Blap. It, you get a lot more freedom when you're using the beam lasers because just in case something decides to keep range, you're going to be able to still hit them. In the pulse lasers, short range, high DPS, good tracking. If you do have something trying to kite you, you're going to be in a little bit of a sticky situation. The Scorch, an ammunition type which can be used with the pulse lasers, can help you a bit in terms of getting extra range. But the beams are still always going to be superior when you're going to be needing that range. I think I beat Aurora with that 30 plus kilometer range. Oh, more damage. Okay. Go in here. Keep a race at 0.5. Oh, I thought that was two blocks, but apparently it was just. They were misplaced, according to my judgment. Got this. Oh, we shouldn't be using the Aurora. What am I doing here? Imperial Navy multi frequencies is what we want. There we go. Good. Now we get more damage. The Aurora has also worse tracking than the Imperial Navy multi frequency. So, if we use it at close range, we're not only going to be doing less damage, but also going to be missing more as well. There's like double negatives to that ammunition type in this range that we're fighting in. It'd be fun if we manage to get to T4 Abyss soon. I want to see if we can get there really quickly. Something I'd want to do. Is there will be fun then you just suddenly get a T4 ship. Boom, you get so much more ISK. Especially if you get something like a Gila T4 Fire Storms. Mm -mm -mm. That's a good ISK you get in those T4 Fire Storms. Get that Mutoplasmids for the large armor plates. You're looking at like two, three hundred million ISK. In one side. Let's get a little bit closer here. We're getting grazing shots. Not good. Need to get full DPS. Come on now. There we go. Hits. Okay, that's good to see. There we go. Penetrating shot as well. That's good. So now the application is slightly improving. Maybe we can keep a range 5,000. So then we have a tendency to be a little bit closer. I noticed that a lot of the shots were getting grazing because we were getting just outside our optimal range. Our optimal range is 9 kilometers. But now we're getting, I think, a little bit worse application, I believe. Because now we're sort of having to move around a bit more, rotate a bit more. 7.5 might be a slightly more optimal, actually. Because then the Damovic is going to try to chase us, I believe. And then the application will be better in that scenario. Good, now for buy and out of cash time. Approach Aurora. Blap. Need to do two shot shots there. Open that up. These dynamic waves are quite slow actually. They've got quite a bit of tank. Those guys, they're tanky boys. Tanky boys, those dynamics are. Would have been a different story if we were to use, say, a retribution with pulse lasers and conflict. They would just rip them to pieces, but here we're in the Punisher. With beam lasers. Oh, that was only 900k. That's unfortunate. If we had an MWD, it'd be much quicker. Then we could have maybe gone for those extraction nodes, but I don't think it's worth our time to go for these extraction nodes. They contain so little ISK in the T1s that we're doing that I don't think it's worth it for the amount of time it'll take to get there. FE Altus, easy. Okay, so we just get close to FE Altus. Keep it range 7.5. And then we use the Imperial Navy multi frequency. Oh, we've got a Tachyon Cloud that's really, really massive Tachyon Cloud. We probably should move slightly out of this because it's dangerous. When you're in frigates, it's very, very dangerous to be in Tachyon Clouds because you can suddenly, since the frigates are naturally so quick, you're going to be flung out of the abyss very fast. Let's just try getting this biotic competitive cash here. Good. 
lock up some of these guys. There we go. Keep a ray 7.5 and use the multi frequency. Now for this one here, keep a ray 7.5. Then keep a ray 7.5 on this one as well. Okay, so there we go. This site is done. We got 1.7 million isk on that last canister. 4 million total isk. Some nice cash. Now we're also getting some nice cash from Product Discovery at the same time as well. Let's go back to Amar because I've got to take a break now, guys. Uh, quite late for me now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. That's us doing some T1 filaments. Got a little bit of a confusion in the beginning because of the, <laughs> the wrong fit. But it just shows it's important to use the right fit. Because I would have instantly died then if I'd gone in the wrong fit. This is that previous fit. Had no tank compared to this one. Same rigs, but look at the modules. Two armor repairs and a reactive armor hardener. And then the previous one had... I don't think I even saved it, actually. But it had one armor repair and uh, nothing else as a tank. And the rest were like signal amplifier and DPS modules. So significantly less uh, tank there. <laughs> Let's dock up in a man uh, dump our... Ooh, one more extra... Oh, yeah, 50 million isk even. It's great. Great. It would be really unfortunate to actually lose that purifier. This is when you feel like, oh, I don't want to lose it. Uh, it would be unfortunate to lose it. This is why I feel like it could be good to just go for a hawk. Let's just see how much would the hawk go for if I were to buy it in the Amar space. Cheapo rocket, Exo Dark, T2 Dark. Buy this. How much does it go for? 34, 47, 48, 55, 57. No, 71 even. I thought I was thinking maybe 50 million, but not even 50 million. 71 million. What is causing the big problem here? Shield extender is more expensive. The rage rock is a bit more expensive. Everything seems to be a good price here. Why is it making the big difference? These C type amplifiers. That is causing a bit of problems. Um. Not a lot of stuff actually. Then why is it so much more than what it says here? Ah, that's very silly. Very, very silly. Not acceptable here. Uh, even some of these rigs are even good prices. Like this Hawk, for example. Look at that. It's a good price. You can see, what is the price of Hawk? Is 34 million purifier. What does that go for? 33 million. Okay, it's also a pretty good price on that. Eh, that's annoying. So we could go risky, use the purifier, and then try to find a few clone soldiers. Then you know what? If we just find a few clone soldiers, we're able to get this straight away. Uh, all we need is the clone soldier transport, I believe it is. See here, 25, 30 million isk. And I believe that you can sell it for even more in detail as well. So Eve Prazel. You got an Eve Prazel. There's no present some Prazel tool. I just do this, copy paste this into this thing on my second monitor. You can't see this, but if I can see that you get the buy price 26 million isk. Okay, so it's not that much. I think that the negotiators may be a little bit better. Yeah, good. negotiators, I believe, are the best ones. I thought transporter was good, but negotiator, I believe, is a bit better. Yeah, okay. Negotiators, this is what we want to get then. So one of these 33 million isk. So say we get two or three of these. I can average on four of those an hour, so that would be perfect. So if we were to able to survive and not get popped, that would be awesome. We'll see. Until next time, that was us in the Punisher doing some T1 Abyss, basic Abyss. Just, you know, chilling around, doing this calm T1, uh, super easy, uh, super relaxing to do. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.